Thank you for coming today, everyone. Today's in-depth training class, we're going to be talking about the units tab that will show up on the part setup of the different parts in the system. So within some of the, the past few updates, the system has changed the way that the units tab used to work. We now have three selections whenever you look at the units on the unit tab of the part setup. We have the inventory unit, the display unit, and the additional units. So the way that this works and the difference between the different tabs are going to be this. The inventory unit is exactly that. It's the unit that the system will use to track the inventory for this particular part in the system. So if you have, in this case here, we have our roll material and we have it tracked in linear feet. Well, a lot of people, what they'll do is they actually will track the units in a roll. So they would go in and say, we have this many rolls of material in the back. So what you can do is you can change the unit here to each and then we'll change it to roll. Based off of changing this, take note of the warning message there at the bottom. If you just change this and change nothing else about this part, the units on your orders will be messed up because the system will still try to treat it as a linear foot usage. So we have to do a couple things with this. Um, whenever you're changing inventory units, you have to make sure that you add what we call an additional unit. So that will be kind of like a unit that says, okay, well, we were we were tracking our information in feet and all our calculations are in feet. So we need to be able to tell the system, okay, how many feet is in a roll? So that way when it does the conversion for how many rolls to use, we're going to add a unit here and say, we're gonna pick the unit that used to be there. So we'll say length and we'll say foot. So now I can say that one roll is equal to, and then whatever we typically purchase this part is in. So that gives me what we call an additional unit. So with that, I'm gonna go back into it, and if it's the unit that used to be in your inventory unit, so if this was the original value, you want to make sure you hit this box right here that says default part conversion item. That is the checkbox that will essentially tell the system, okay, we were doing this in feet, and I want to convert this to rolls whenever I do my calculations. So if we go ahead and save this, and we'll go and say new, new estimate, and print and wide format print. And we'll just do a quick quote here real quick using that part. So the system, if we take a look here at the parts, it'll reflect the information of that part now in terms of what a roll is. So it's gonna give me 6 tenths of a roll because that's what it's going to use. Now obviously, a lot of people looking at the information here, six tenths of the roll doesn't really mean much to them, which brings us back to the second portion that we saw on that part setup screen, which is the display unit. So you can have the unit track your inventory in rolls, but still display it in the unit that you want to on your part screen. So what I can do is I can uncheck the box here that says use inventory units, and I can tell it to display the information in terms of feet in this case here. And when I do that, it'll give me a conversion that we have over here, or I can make a new conversion if I wanted to do yards or any other display unit that you want to track on that part. So what that will do then is if I go ahead and save this, we go back to our estimate and we clone our item to kind of refresh it. If I take a look at the parts, now we can see that it's showing me that I'm going to use nine feet of that material. And that's showing that because that's our display unit. If we take a look at the very top bar here, there's a couple of different checkboxes. And one of the checkboxes says, show display units instead of inventory units. So if I uncheck that, we'll see our same six tenths of a roll that we were getting previously, which is our inventory unit. And then I can check that box and that will show me what my display unit is. So this allows you to set up a part that will let you track your inventory in the way that you typically track it but still have it display and still have it work the way that it used to previously. So you can get it tracking inventory on and it useful to you and still have it display in a way that's useful to your production guys to know, okay, nine feet is a lot more informative than six cents of a roll whenever they see that on their part list. There is one more feature that will come in handy with those additional units and that is going to be this. So typically, whenever you purchase a part, you'll say that you want to purchase a roll or you want to purchase a another value than what you track it in. 
So if I check another part that I don't want to track inventory on in terms of feet, but I still want to be able to say I'm going to purchase this in a roll. What you can do is if you edit this and you add in your additional conversion, and we'll do the same thing. So one roll is equal to, say we buy this one in 300 feet. It'll add that conversion, but we don't need to change anything else because we're not changing our inventory units. We're just adding in an additional conversion, so that way, whenever we do what we whenever we look at our purchase orders and whenever we look at our vendor links, you can tell the system that you want to purchase a roll instead of telling the system that you want to purchase 300 feet, which will make a lot more sense to your vendor. So, doing that, if I go to my vendor tab and I go to add my vendor, what I can say is instead of buying this at 77 cents a linear foot, I actually buy this in a roll. And we'll take and do the conversion for you for the size of the roll. So we've got $231 per roll instead of 77 cents per foot. So doing that, I'll go ahead and save that. And one thing to note is you can only have one vendor link per part. So I can only add in one of these links for the particular vendor that we're working with. However, if I go and say new, new purchase order, and we'll put in our vendor, and we'll say catalog item, that will pull up that link and say that I purchased that in the role. But maybe there's a certain circumstance where you still want to tell it that you're going to purchase a foot, or you're going to purchase it on one of the other part links that you created. You can always manually change that on your purchase order and say, well, this time we're actually only going to buy 10 feet. So you can, you can change the unit here to say, you're going to buy 10 feet instead of one roll. So you can still use your additional units even if you set it up to use that roll as your main unit. You can still override that when you're doing your purchase order. And that is pretty much the explanation of all the three tabs on the units. And let's you specify the different inventory units to track it in, the different display units to display it in, and then the additional units that it uses for either conversions to those different units or just for purchasing purposes.